Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for part five. Part five of our Let's Build. Okay, so last time we were here, we actually did a fair amount. It, it felt like a lot. I don't know if it actually accumulated to a lot, but we did finish up kind of the main dining area, the main bar area. We have this kind of semi-private function room with a bigger dining table as well. And we made a little employee area, which I'm still obsessed with. Now, the only thing I did change because someone commented on, commented this on the last part and I thought it was a great idea. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I got rid of the warm, meal like vending machine thing from snowy escape and i actually put in a mini fridge and a microwave because you can slot the microwave on top and that felt so much more realistic to a little employee lounge so there's also a dishwasher and a sink just so they can kind of clean up a little bit but i thought it was a bit of a space saver i suppose it doesn't really matter but i was kind of trying to think practically here so our focus today is on the upstairs and i Still don't really know what we're gonna do with this. Aside from making it a little bit more of a recreation area, I love that idea. I think it's great. It makes the bar a little bit more versatile. It doesn't make it just a bar. It makes it a little bit more fun. So let's go ahead and kick it right off. I also want to try, oh gosh, why am I? I gotta start with my little saucer lights. I can't, I can't start with those. Um, I want to try though, to see if I can get maybe another bathroom or two up here. It. It could be difficult, I don't really know, because I don't want it to feel awkward or forced. I'm just carrying over all of the wallpapers right now, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it a little recreation space. I think that that will be really nice. I think there might be a few other tables up here potentially, but I can't, I can't really, I can't really work it out right now because <laughs> it's such a big open space and I kind of want this to remain open. I don't want it to feel closed off. But what we might do, let me just toy around with this idea. We could kind of do, oh, okay, wait, I have an idea. So I'm thinking that maybe we do this. So this could be, these could be two bathroom stalls and in the center could be where the sinks are and stuff like that, make it kind of a bigger space than the one downstairs. And then all of this is recreation, including a, I don't know if we could make it like another private function room. That might be a little bit odd, but we could put something else in there. I don't exactly know, but hi, hello, how are all of you? I hope you're having lovely weeks so far. Uh, I want to apologize that this last build came at the end of the week. I try to do it on Mondays, but alas, I was lazy. <laughs> um, no, I wasn't really uh, lazy, but I, <laughs> I had kind of an exciting start to my week and I had an exciting weekend. That was basically it, the weekend kind of took over took over my uh, schedule. I didn't really get a chance to record, but I had an exciting Tuesday. So let me tell you guys about this. Um, for some of you, you might know that I've been dealing with an ongoing arm issue, okay? I'm not gonna go through the whole history of it because it would take a four freaking ever, but I've been dealing with this for a while now and it has not been easy. It has prevented me from doing as much with the channel as I would like, however, things are looking up. But what I did is I started to kind of go an alternative route with treating this. Now, I am not giving any kind of medical advice whatsoever. You should all make your own decisions and advocate for yourself if you ever have the need to. But I decided to kind of go a little bit less traditional here with my care to see if it'll help. Oh no. Oh gosh, that got rid of the stairs. Please help. What am I doing? Okay, um, but I had been seeing like an orthopedic for a while and they were wonderful, nothing against them, but I kind of wanted to escalate the actual healing process instead of just pain management. Uh, therefore, I decided to see a, a, a naturopath. I never say the word correctly. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I decided to see uh, someone who spe specializes in kind of like alternative uh, medicines and treatments and stuff like that. I think that they can be very valuable. It really just depends on what you're comfortable with and doing your own research, you know, things like that. And yeah, let's just say it has helped. I only had one treatment so far, it's helped, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of the process. <laughs> I won't go into details because I don't want to, I don't want to trigger anyone with like the mention of certain medical procedures. I want to be cognizant of everyone, but yeah, it wasn't fantastic, but I am feeling less 
pain and less symptomatic today, which today is, so uh, what's today? Wednesday, it's the day after. The day after I got it done. And I'm feeling a little less symptomatic. That is as of like, I don't know, maybe an hour ago. <laughs> So it's kind of a new development for me. Gosh, this is gonna take forever. Why am I just copying things one by one? I know there's an easier way for me to do this. I could just copy the room over, but that would also create work. So I'm doing this slowly. But yeah, uh, so that has been the adventure of the week. And since I'm mentioning like being less symptomatic, it means that I was um, pretty uncomfortable yesterday. Pretty uncomfortable. I was just on the couch really displeased with everything <laughs> debating if i was ever going to go back because i was not a fan i don't um i don't cope very well <laughs> with things like this especially pain um but feeling a lot better today so i think my head's a little bit clearer and it's been very exciting so that's my exciting news of the week what have you guys been up to i hope that you're having a lovely week so far i want to hear all about it and what's the high? I, I, you know, we do this at work sometimes. What are the highs and lows? For me, the high and the low were the same thing. It was that treatment that I got. <laughs> at least so far, you know, it's only the middle of the week. So there could be something else that ends up being super exciting for me. But um, yeah. Okay, so these are going to be little bathrooms. That's what I'm thinking. Now, what I will do here, again, this might create more work for me, but I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? I know I am. Yeah, I kind of regret it. I should I I should not have done that. Uh, okay, it's it's fine. Actually, it's fine. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more work um than it ended up being. So this is okay. I can just put the window back. And typically what I try to do if I have if I have rooms like this, I try to mirror them instead of making them actually identical if that makes sense. So I'm just flipping things here. I'm not necessarily changing what's in here it is a mirror image of what's on the other side so um i might just decorate these little countertops off off camera because you guys don't need to see me clutter things again uh but let me grab these lights here quick i think i shrunk them down one is that what i did yeah i shrunk them down one also if you see me like if you see like my tongue in my cheek it's because i just had popcorn and i have kernels stuck in my teeth because <laughs> that is a Ah, oh, didn't I say, hmm, didn't I just say that the sinks were going to be out here? I, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? Wait a minute. I had another idea. This is actually working better than I thought it was going to. Uh, we're going to make this three more bathrooms. That's what we're going to do. Because that way the space is useful and not just filled with like a single sink or something. It's kind of like a little, um, I'm going to call it a hallway. I know it's not really a hallway, but I'm gonna call it that because it's like a little place where you can divvy up the bathrooms here. I kinda like that idea. I think that's good. Um, yeah, but uh, I also wanted to tell you guys that I am definitely filming more of my cottage living let's play very soon. I did show a little sneak peek over for my channel members. So they got to see a little screeny of um, one of the upcoming episodes. It had zero contact, so it wasn't really that exciting, but <laughs> uh, I wanted to mention that because it is one of my favorite uh, LPs that I've ever done. I've done a few and I've pretty much abandoned them or I just didn't know where the story was gonna go. Uh, specifically my Discover University slash Discover Mount Komorebi Let's Play. Did that for a while. It was a way for me to kind of branch into Snowy Escape when it came out, but I didn't really know where the story was headed, so. I, I kind of just put it on pause indefinitely for right now. However, my cottage living one is easily one of my favorite ones ever. And I'm very excited to continue the story. And I can't wait to share more of it with you guys. And also, let's talk about... Oh, actually, let me first find a curtain here. So I know we were using... What were we using? We were using... Um, Oh, there's that base game one. There's another base game one. Is it this one? This one. This one matches, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this matches. Anyway, uh, let's talk about this new pack because we did just get a trailer for the My Wedding Stories game pack that is coming out very, very soon. I think it's February 17th. And so I have mixed feelings. I am going to reserve my final judgment until I get the pack and play around with it, as I always try to do. I don't like making a determined a definitive determination on a pack uh, before I even get to play around with it or see it. So uh, the trailer looked 
looked cool. I'm very curious as to how this is going to be a full game pack. That's my thought because, also please ignore my stomach if you hear it making noises because I just ate. The second I start talking, it starts making crazy noises. And fun fact, I'm one of those people that can't burp. So life is awful. Anyway, so <laughs> this pack, um, I'm curious because they're, they're basically taking something we've had in base game. So if you've been playing The Sims since the beginning when it came out right like seven eight years ago almost something like that um we've had weddings like you have the ability to get married this isn't this isn't something new uh, i'm just gonna get objects out by the way that i think would be up here maybe there could be a little like a darts room i'm thinking of billiards room but we don't have billiards so can't do that uh but we'll get one of these out but yeah it's been something that we've had in the game since day one and it's something that has needed improvements in my opinion since day one so I'm curious as to how it is now going to be monetized into this larger pack. It seems like something, to me, my preference would have been, that there were minor gameplay updates to weddings in base game. Like, that's what my thought would be. Oh, maybe this could go in here. Mm, it's a little bit too small, isn't it? Maybe we could put two of these in here? The little foosball room? I like the idea of a foosball room. Will that work? Uh, those are too close, aren't they? That's not gonna work, is it? Uh, but yeah, it just, it seems a little... It just seems odd to me that we're now choosing one big life event like this, like weddings. I mean, there's, there's like, things like baby showers. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys are not hearing my freaking stomach. There are things like baby showers and... But, you know, sadly enough, like funerals or uh, birthdays, birthdays. We've had birthdays in base game for a long time too. Uh, we've had them since day one. You know, we've got birthdays and now we have holidays with seasons, like it, stuff like that. And they're choosing to take only one of those life events and they're making a game pack out of it, which I just think is odd to me. It just, it doesn't feel thus far that it is going to encompass enough for me to be okay with it being a game pack. I hope that makes sense. But again, this this is just my opinion based off of what we've seen thus far. I could absolutely change my mind 110%. I could do a complete 180 on my opinion when I get it and actually play around with it. But right now I'm just a little bit on the fence. I want to know what you guys think because there's definitely been mixed feelings and I, I know that we're going to be seeing things from the creators very soon. Um, and when I say creators, if you guys didn't know, the Game Changer Network has been rebranded to EA Creator Network. So when I say creators, I mean specifically those in that program. Um, I know that they will be likely releasing content soon because they get early access more often than not. So we will be seeing what some of these things look like. I'm sure there's gonna be a mix of gameplay and building content and I'm just very curious to know what this is going to look like and how it's gonna work. I also do know that we are getting a new world from that trailer, which I'm super excited about. Very excited about a new world. And I think it was SimGuru Ninja or Frosty. I call him Frosty because it just makes me laugh. I hope he doesn't mind. Um, but I believe that it was one of those SimGurus. They actually did note that there are residential lots in this new world. So we do have the ability to have rental lots pretty much in any world at this point. Point. Oh, I don't like that. We had a jukebox downstairs, didn't we? We did, yes. Okay, that's going to go there. Uh, but yeah, we could set rental lots pretty much in any world at this point, but it's exciting that this is going to be a residential world as well. I was really keeping my fingers crossed for that because <laughs> I actually ran a poll over on Twitter recently asking about the vacation worlds and kind of what everybody thought about them, considering we can have rental lots anywhere. I have mixed feelings. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just looking to be controversial today, aren't I? I'm putting the statue here too. I like it. It's gonna go here. But um, yeah, I the vacation worlds don't really serve a purpose for me anymore. Like I really wish my Sims could live in Selva Dorada, for example, like really, really, really badly. I love that world. And um, fun fact, I have a build coming next week in that world inspired by Encanto. It is not replicating the actual house, but very excited about it. Anyway, yeah, I, I'm just, I want my sims to be able to live in worlds like that, so I'm just really grateful that this is going to be a residential and vacation world. That makes me very, very happy. Um, is there a beer mug on this? No, there's a coffee. A coffee cup? What do we have here? Fire. Hmm. I was hoping there was a club flag. I feel like I'm going to use this over and over again from 
cottage living. We don't have too many, like, bar paraphernalia things. Let me size that up. Oh, dad, dad not gonna fit. Okay, well, let me size that back down. All right, so I'm thinking that this is kind of like more of a private little rec room. It, it's not gonna be super private because again, it's an archway. I'm also gonna grab, oh wait, no, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an armchair in this corner with this plant. I, do we have to? No, but I really wanna put an armchair here. So we're gonna put an armchair here. What are we gonna use though? I want it to be cozy. Ooh, that would be cozy. I don't know if it would really fit the look. What about this one? Ooh, that yellow real bright. That yellow real bright. Maybe we need to use a black one from Cottage Living? That'd be kind of nice, right? Yeah, scooch over here maybe a little bit so there's a place to sit. Ooh, and how about a lamp? How about a lamp? This is starting to look like a house again. Why am I like this? But yeah, so those are my thoughts on just the upcoming pack. I, I do want to learn more about it. I am excited about it. I kind of just went on a tangent about other things partially related to it, but I just think it's interesting that they chose this one single momentous life event and decided to make a whole pack about it. It's just, it's curious to me too, because there's always this divide, I suppose you could say, with... How do I explain this? There are things that people openly want to see in the game. And granted, uh, they are not obligated to do anything, if you will, right? Like they're not obligated to put everything we want in the game just because we want it. That would be one, impossible, and two, a little bit unrealistic. But it's just curious to me, some of the choices. But at the same time, I also have to acknowledge that they have been working on various packs, sometimes for like a year or more in advance. So they could be still working on all of the things that people want to see, but we're only seeing things come out as they're ready compared to seeing them the second we want to see them type thing. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so that's a little rec room. I might put a few more things on the walls. I I'm not gonna do it on camera though because I just, I want to try to avoid being too repetitive with a uh, with decor, but um, we might still end up being kind of repetitive. So. Now we have this big open space. So one thing I do want to do here is I think between, I don't want to put this dartboard over here. I want to put this, <laughs> seems so dangerous. Yeah, let's put darts right outside the bathroom door. Don't miss. <laughs> um, I'm going to put two of them over there though. That is where I'm going to put them for now. And I want to put a fireplace in here. I didn't get to put one downstairs. So I want to put one here. And I'm thinking this one. Oh, no, that brick doesn't, it, it, it not really doing it for me. Oh, that, no, that's too blue. Oh, that's green. Oh! <gasps> that almost, that almost directly matches some of the tones in this wall. Oh, thrilled, okay. And I did want to put this little, this little, uh, this little ship. I wanted to put it up here on the mantle, not on the top of the actual fireplace, but up here. Use my little handy dandy red shelf here there we go that was kind of a struggle to get it up that high oh that's perfect oh i love it um no not the blue oh not that one that's a little bright uh yeah i guess i like that one okay we'll do that wonderful yeah i wanted to get a fireplace up here it just seemed fitting for like an older building like this i feel like there would be fireplaces everywhere but I don't really have the room to add too many fireplaces. So maybe there could just be like some hangout spots up here with some cozy, comfy couches too. Maybe like in this little, this little area. I might pick a different armchair too because I want everything to match when I'm placing it. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, we could do Discover University. Oh, not the white. Those would get dirty so fast on a place like that. The yellow is a little much. The pink's a little much for me. The green. These are all a little much. I, it, the black is nice, but it's almost too dark. Thinking, 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 thinking. I don't know what to do. Maybe these. Maybe the blue. I don't know. It could kind of mix it up. Let me look downstairs real quick. We've got all orange. Of course we do. Why? <laughs> do we have an orange swatch of this? I feel like we do. That's not the right orange. Okay, scrap this. We don't want those. What about these? What about this? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, 
those is nice. Oh, I like these. Actually, yeah, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do these instead, okay? We'll get some like squ squashy little leather armchairs here. I said squashy because I was thinking of the description of some armchairs when I was reading Harry Potter. And it was like the squatchy, was it squashy? Or squishy armchairs in the Gryffindor common room? That's kind of what I'm thinking here. <laughs> I know that didn't make much sense as I was trying to describe it, but it is what it is. And we'll get these because they are from Get Together and they shall match very well. And now for a lamp. I don't think we've used any table lamps in this build yet either. How long have I been recording for? Guys, how long have I been recording for? Not too long. Okay, I had to check. <laughs> okay, I do want a nice lamp. It's something that looks a little bit older. I don't want something too new in a place like this. Oh, the orange works because I think it kind of matches all the other oranges that we have going on. Um, is that a little bit close to the fire? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do... Here, just do that. Thank you. Excuse my sniffling as well. I'm not actually sick, just when I talk a lot, my my nose runs, which is weird and I don't understand it. I hate it. Uh, ooh, 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 where are those fire poker things? Or the fire poker thing from base game that we got in an update? Is that under, what is this? Miscellaneous decoration? Why is it under miscellaneous decorations? I know it's here. That's why I said it, I know it's in here. There it is, why is it in there? Why? I guess that's the appropriate category for something like that. Some of the things in The Sims I've noticed they are not appropriately categorized whatsoever, and it drives me bonkers. Uh, that's a little dark. I kind of like that. It matches the chairs a little bit. <laughs> I kind of like that. Um, I really wish that we had a couch that would match these armchairs. I know we don't with base game. We have something like this, which is just... that. Th this is too much for me. I, I can't. We also... I mean, we do have this brown swatch. Is this too much for like a pub? That, mm, 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 mm. what about this? This is smaller and a little less. I, could that work? Or do we just want to go with like a, so I, mm, I don't know. I don't know what we want to do here. Maybe we could use the cottage living sofa. It's a three seater, but it still has some fun swatches. Like, see, like that orange kind of ma Yeah, okay, okay. So the orange kind of matches. That's kind of what I was going for here. Um, let's pick out a rug. But the question is, what rug? It's always difficult. I always end up picking the same rugs over and over again. Because they work and they match. <laughs> Everything makes sense. Um, what about this one from the Industrial Loft Kit? could change it out maybe but it's not bad for now I also want to put again I know this isn't a living area per se but I've definitely seen like restaurants and stuff like that or, or pubs inns things of that nature that are somewhat decorated like this because they do have a little bit more of a a recreation area they'll have like some seating areas they'll have some games and stuff like that I, I just feel like it makes sense um I kind of hate that rug now scratch that Gosh, I hope I can finish this today. <laughs> I've really been looking forward to finishing this build, not because I'm not enjoying myself, but because I feel like it's lingered for a very long time. <laughs> and I asked you guys over on the community tab, um, it was a while ago, so I might revisit that tab very soon to look at some of these ideas, but I was asking you guys what we should do for our next Let's Build, because I want to make this a regular thing on the channel. I think it is well, it's super fun for me. It gives you guys kind of different content too, because not everyone loves speed builds. Some people like watching the process kind of unfold and and kind of getting ideas from that. So I want to kind of tap into that a little bit more um, for all of you, just to give you guys some different things to do, but, and to watch. That's kind of what I meant. Ooh, chest table. <laughs> you know I'm gonna put a chest table in here. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we got, oh. We got new swatches of that. Want to know who didn't know that? Me. Literally had no idea that we got new swatches of the chess table. So that's really fun. Um, what if... 
this isn't necessarily going to make sense. We're going to put one dartboard there for now. And what I might do is I might make changes off camera before this is officially, like, released and everything. Before I put it on the gallery and, and all that fun stuff. But I think that that makes sense. I want this to be a little bit more open. Like, there's not going to be a ton to do up here. There's going to be a few things, but I'm not trying to make this overwhelmingly cluttered. I still want it to be pretty open, I think. So I'll put another, like, armchair over here. Maybe we'll do... What kind of lamp? Oh, that's a nice lamp. Oh, that's a nice lamp. Okay. Put that there. Um, and we'll put another armchair there, just right at the top of the stairs. You know, some... Some weirdo. I mean that nicely. Some weirdo wants to sit at the top of the stairs and just, like, watch people go up and down. You, know, you do your thing. Uh, so we got the dartboard over there. We do have a chess table. What, what else could I put up here? I wanted to originally get an aquarium, but I don't... I think that's gonna happen. Um, I don't know what else to put up here. We, we have a fair amount of activities. It's not like we don't have any, but I'm just trying to figure out... Like, I would like to put a ping pong table, but it's not gonna fit the look at all that I'm got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say this, but I might still put it here. I don't really know if this wall right here is going to be an issue, though, because this item's pretty big. I think that's why I was hesitant to, to do it in the first place. It's a pretty big item. I don't know if that's going to work for this area. Yeah, I really don't know. Do I Did I put any sconces in this build? Y'all know me. Sconces save lives. I.e. when I have a wall to fill and I don't know what to do. Sconce. That's what you get. You get a sconce. And you get a sconce. And you outside the bathroom, you get a sconce. Maybe I could do this. Alright, alright. Pause. Pause. I want to use the darts. I don't know where. So I'm, I'm going to plop it over there for a second. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put the chest table kind of behind the couch. Ah, oh, shit. Sugar daddies. I try not to swear. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I actually swear a lot in my everyday life. Pretty much every other word out of my mouth is an F-bomb. So that's great. Good on me. Uh, but I try not to swear on the channel. <laughs> uh, my channel is marked as not for kids, so anyone under the age... Pardon me. No, no, no. Fixed your wagon real quick. That's right. You get out of my room, Roof. You son of a... Anyway, my channel is marked as not for kids, which is why I don't curse a lot in my videos or on my channel. But just know it's a part of my personality and every single time I'm censoring myself is like real hard. It's very, very hard. So I say things like sugar daddies or fudgesicles because it's a very easy extension of what I really want to say. Anyway, what about this rug under here? Yeah, there you go. Why not? I like that. Uh, and now I need some decorations and stuff like that because there's like this little weird... Mm. I... What do we got for, uh... We got for wall decorations, guys. We could do another pub memorabilia. Yes. I'm gonna put it right there for now, I guess, because I don't know where else to put it. Um... I feel like I'm just gonna repeat things. I don't want to repeat things. And I want it to fit. I don't want it to feel like I'm... Like I'm forcing something in here if it doesn't match. Kind of bugs me when I end up resorting to that. I've used this a few times, but what swatches have I used? I'm pretty sure I've used that one. And did I use it down here in this main area? No, I used it out here. Okay, well, all right, no, that's actually not bad. Never mind. That's pretty good. I think I'm also going to take these flags that I have here. As you can see, they're huge, but I've been sizing them down. I'm going to put one on each side here. That's nice. Maybe one here too. That's also nice. And I think I might put beams in this room. Yeah, I think I'll put beams in this room. They have to run the same way as the beams here. Did I? Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> I was going to say they have to run the same direction as the ones downstairs, and they don't. So let me fix them here. If you're wondering how I do this, actually, here, let me, like, slowly walk you through this. So I'm taking the wall tool, and I'm sectioning all this off. You can only do that with move objects on, by the way. Otherwise, it'll, like, get rid of everything. And that's awful. Um, I'm just going to take the spandrel. I don't remember which one this is. The one from Seasons, okay? So, what you do then is you replace the wall with spandrels. Like that. And then, I mean, like, from this angle, it doesn't look fantastic. But look, 
it's like a beam detail on the ceiling when you actually get in there. And you're not going to see it like if the walls are down halfway, you're not going to see it. So it's not going to block your ability to see everything inside of a build, which I think is really nice. So let's do, oh, uh, this might cause some problems. And I mean, it might cause problems because of this roof piece. I might end up having to take a different trim. So just, uh, you'll see what I mean. So basically I am, ooh, let me just do it to there. Ooh, look at that. Ugh. Yeah, okay, so th this might cause problems, but just bear with me. It will make sense in a second, and I'll show you how I'm going to remedy it. Some of the decisions I have to make might not be fantastic, but I have to make them. So first and foremost, oh no, is that gonna cause, oh, thank goodness, okay. Let's replace all of these walls with the beams. And now you can see that our roof piece is glitching in, right? And the reason for that is because I separated all these areas with walls, which means that they're all separate rooms, which means that this roof piece is not in one single room. I know it might not make some sense, but just bear with me. Did I do a black trim on that? So I always use this trim, the square roof trim, and I love it because it just adds the perfect amount of like bulkiness in my opinion. However, as you can see, it glitches through the side. So I'm gonna choose a different wall trim. I'm gonna do either the angled one or this, who angled out? I might do that one. I, I don't like having to do this, because it changes what the roof trim looks like outside. But this one, oh, that's not bad. The beveled out roof trim, it eliminates the problem and still looks reasonably okay. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna also do that to this front one because then I can simply just drag this back. And then if you hold down shift on your keyboard, you can take this little arrow here and it'll only change one side of the roof. So now the roof no longer clips. We have solved the problem and then when the uh, the what? The walls. When the walls are um, kind of cut away here, you don't see any issues. You don't see the beams. You don't see anything. Problem solved. So I might have to play just this, this little like ping pong table here, because I think it's going to be a little cramped. I don't know if your sim's going to be able to use it. If not, what, what I'm going to do is I am going to put, I think the chess table just right there. Let me actually just see how that looks. Yeah, I think that's what I might do. So if it doesn't work, I am just going to put the chess table there instead, and there's gonna be nothing behind the couch. Um, and then I've just got decorations on the wall, which I think works. I might even put some more decorations. Oh gosh, it's glitching to each room. Here, you go there. And I want a few more decorations here too. Maybe I can use another one of these. You know, it's not, it's kind of the, um, I'm trying to say the logo of this this place. So it, it would be, be showing up a few more times. Um, what else do we have? We have got these, which, <laughs> I mean, they do work, but I'm trying not to use, trying not to overuse them. There's only four swatches, so it makes it a little bit difficult. Um, so we've got the ship up there. We have this coffee table. Now I'm wondering, I need to get some lights, but I want them to hang from these beams as well. So we're gonna do like one, two, and three. That way they look like they're hanging from the beams. I'm gonna merge one of these little teeny tiny lights that I just shrunk down into that too. How does that look? Oh, that, oh, oh, up, 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 up. It looks nice. I am enjoying this. I think what I'll do though is I'll grab another one of these end tables and just toss it over here. But I'm not gonna put another lamp on it because we already have a lamp, so I'll take a plant, I think. I want a certain kind of plant, but I don't know what kind. Oh, maybe something like this. This is very pretty. We'll do yellow, because I like yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. Okay, so we've got the foosball table. We've got the flags. We have a little seating area, the fireplace. Now what's bumming me out is I don't know where to put darts. I don't want to keep it here, because your sims won't be able to. You see where that little bar is down there? That's where they have to stand to be able to to use the darts. And I don't think they're gonna be able to do that with the foosball table. Um, is there room downstairs for this? Man, I really fudged this one up, didn't I? Ugh, that don't fit very well. There's really nowhere for darts, is there? I really want darts in here though. What about, 
the bottom of the stick. Uh, I didn't leave a lot of room in here for darts, did I? I mean, it, it could go here. I, I just shrunk it down. Now it looks terrible. Ugh, scratch that. <laughs> I mean, it could go there. But again, it's going to be pretty inaccessible. So uh, unfortunately, we might have to just say no to darts. Because I don't really have anywhere to... Uh, do I have somewhere to put it? I'm just questioning everything here. Let's grab it again. Hold on, hold on. Where's the brown? There it is. Okay, so l like, let's just say it went here. Right next to the bathroom. Not exactly ideal. Um, it's not great, but it's accessible. And I feel like that's what matters. So I might leave it there. I might just leave it there. You guys can get rid of it if you want. You don't have to keep it if you end up downloading this build. You can do whatever the heck you want, but I'll leave it there. I will. I will leave it there. I'm going to add just this little cottage living decoration in here just to kind of fill that space. So we've got the ping pong table. We have a chess table. It's kind of awkwardly placed as well. A little seating area. The darts. We have a nice big fireplace. I think I'm going to put like magazines or something. Is that weird? Maybe I'll get the thing from Parenthood instead. There are some like magazines you can read and stuff. We'll just leave them on the coffee table. Looks a little bit odd, but I think I'll just go with it. And I'm also going to get this light over here. i just delete that. Yeah, I do want to just delete that. What about this one? Oh, that has a little bit of light. Let's shrink that down. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I think that's actually it. I think if there are not any like little tiny changes, I'll just kind of do them off screen. Like I think I'm gonna do, like decorate this little area off screen a little bit. I think that'll be, oh wait, actually let me replace that door. Now that I'm saying this out loud with an archway, just a little one, a little archway like this one, because it's not a, an enclosed bathroom space. So that is how one can get to the bathroom. Um, excuse me. Hello? Just wanted to get you in a different position. Okay. So, this is how you would get to the bathroom. I think the only other, like, little detail I'm going to add here is another fire extinguisher. It's always good to have them accessible. And I think we'll put it on... Where should I? I feel like I should be near the fire. Um, <laughs> yeah, just in case. Maybe you can just go there, and maybe we can have one outside the bathrooms, too. I don't know why there would be a fire in the bathrooms, but you never know, because it's The Sims. There's always a way. They always find a way. If there's a will, there's a way, and The Sims shall light it on fire, if they want to. And here, I'll get a little you in there. Just a little teeny tiny rug. And maybe there actually doesn't even have to be any details on those little countertops. It could be there for someone to like put down their purse or something. That, that could be, that could be something. So I think that is actually pretty much it. I'm just gonna add some more details here, like the little flower boxes. Yeah, I'll just plop one there. No, wait, no, wait, I lied to you. Um, did I use, yeah, I used a little one here. I want this one instead. Little cottage living one. Oh, what the heck? What? What you doing? What are you doing? Why are you up, why? What's happening to you? You all right? I don't know why that was there. Um. Anyway, let's get. Actually, let's make these even. Again, please ignore my stomach because I will. I will riot. I don't know why it does this to me. It always betrays me the second I need it to like not act up on me, but it's fine. Okay, this is our little pub. I think. I think only the last finishing touch. Pause. This is technically for it to be a bar. I need a television. Okay. So I am one of those people that despises having a television in the bar because all the sims do is watch it and i think i mentioned this before is what i do i will just create a small little room down here and then this is a basement technically that will not have an access point because i don't want my sims going down here tv voila criteria met not accessible by sims fantastic what i'm going to do though is i am going to put a i think it's electronics I'm gonna put a wall speaker outside. So if they're sitting outside enjoying like a drink with their friends or anything like that, they will actually have some music outside. I think that'll be nice. Residential and cafe. How about we do a little bit of the BB show hidden objects? How do you feel about that? 
Where? Bar items? Aha! Ah! Ha <laughs> All right, found them. I'm trying to find a specific one. I don't want S pop. Uh, kids, no. Lullabies, Latin pop, new disco. Mm -mm. Uh, singer songwriter? No. Blues, alternative pop, classical hip hop. There's a very specific station that I can't think of right now for the life of me. What is that? No, not Americana. I don't want that. Focus music? Mm -mm. Cottage core? Yeah. I feel like that's the one I wanted. I think I couldn't remember if there was a cottage core one or not. Yeah, that's good enough. Love that. So there's going to be some music outside. But this is it. We did it. We did it. This is our little pub. So when you walk in here, got the little chalkboard with all the specials and everything. There's even like a little piece of chalk, a really cute little beer mug. Fit perfectly. Got a little bench too if you're kind of sitting waiting for a table. And this sign out here, Cottage Cottage Living came through for this build. But it's got like a little beer keg, which I thought was perfect. And now outside you've got a couple of tables. So you could sit out here, get some trash cans and stuff. And, oh, I also, I don't think I did this on camera, but these are little like outdoor lights. But I just raised them with uh, Control 9 or Alt 9 or whatever. And I kind of put them on some of the posts in the fence. I thought that was kind of a nice way to light it up here. I'll show you. Where's the nighttime? Thank you. See, look, there's some extra light out here. There's already candles on all the tables, but I thought that would be kind of a nice addition. And then, okay, so when you walk in here, then you have the main bar and like dining area. There's some bar height tables, some regular dining tables. And let's see, there's also this separate little function room too. Now, since you can get food at the bars, I didn't make this a functioning restaurant. Instead, I made this back here, the little employee lounge, which again, you can do whatever you want with it. You could change it into a restaurant and put the necessary items here, but I thought it was just kind of a cute addition to a place like this. There's also a bathroom downstairs. And then we just did the upstairs. It's a little bit more open. It's not as cluttered, but we have this little kind of rec room with Don't Wake the Llama or cards, because you can change up the game. You got the foosball table, another, I was gonna say boom box, another um, jukebox. <laughs> and actually, I think I want to put one out here too. Uh, so pause, 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 pause. I think I'll put it, um... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Where am I gonna put this? Right at the top of the stairs? Kind of? Maybe here. You could just put it here, I guess. It's a little bit awkward, but it's okay. Um, but anyway, we also have <laughs> ping pong. We have a beautiful uh, fireplace for your sims to kind of just sit and relax. Got a little bit of a seating area around here. We have darts, and then we have three more bathrooms, which I think is much better because bars tend to get very, very busy in The Sims. There's also a chess table. And then out back, this is just, there's a dumpster here, which <laughs> y'all can use for some woohoo instead of for actually throwing out trash. But that is our little pub. Oh, I'm so excited. So we have officially finished our little pub. Thank you guys so much for participating in this. Um, a lot of your recommendations were implemented into this build, which is super exciting. And that's kind of what, why I want to keep doing it because I think it involves you guys with the building process more and makes me think of things that I never would have thought of on my own. So I appreciate you. But this is the end of this current Let's Build series. I will be starting up a new one maybe in like two weeks. So not next week, but the week after I'm thinking, just so I can kind of get an idea flowing and maybe gather some inspiration so we can kick things off. But yeah, this was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this and I will catch you next time I post a video. Bye.